What's up, my friends? It's your girl, Lucky Jen, and today we are at Gulf Shores, Alabama. As you can see, this is an absolutely picture-perfect beach. I'm so excited to start detecting on it. Um, it is very busy out here today, so what I'm going to actually do is start over here on the volleyball courts. There's really not anybody playing right now because it's really hot. So we're going to do that and kind of work in the areas that are not busy. And then as it gets to evening and people start clearing out, then we're going to go down the towel line and see what we can find there. So if you guys are ready, let's get going. All right, my friends, have it gone 10 feet and I already have my first target of the day. And it is a high tone. So we're going to see what we got. And hopefully, since we have such beautiful powdery white sand. Oh, we missed it. Try again. Handles them. Keeps loosening up on me there. Okay. Oh. All right. We have it in the scoop. So let's see what we have. With it being a high tone, I'm guessing we're going to have a coin, but. You never know. Joke's on me. It's not in the scoop. Okay, so we moved it. Let's try one more time. So I am being careful here because um, one of the rules of the beach is that you can't dig a hole deeper than 12 inches but most of our targets are generally not very deep anyway so and I expect on this beach especially um, they won't be very deep because it's going to be mostly fresh drops I think I saw they have a lot of really nice beach cleaning machines so I don't anticipate a whole lot of old stuff and okay first target of the day is a nickel uh, from 1976 Okay, we'll eventually get over there to those volleyball courts and get going. So the volleyball courts were very, very clean. And what I noticed is there's almost like two towel lines here. There's this line where people have like their umbrellas, their rentals that goes through here. And then you have the main towel line down closer to the beach. But there's a section here of the upper towel line where there's not anybody sitting. So I thought we would go ahead and hit it. And we do have our first target in this area anyway um, and it's a high tone so we shall see oh I think I see it and it is gonna be Smirnoff so we are right on to another target here this one is a mid-tone see if we can get it here on the first scoop or not and looks like we did so let's have a look, see what we got. Uh, well, it is our first pull tab of the day. Okay, folks, I'm just on to another target. This is like a, a low tone. Um, almost could have missed it really, but decided just to check it out. And I see something shiny there at the edge of my scoop actually fell out. So let's see. Oh, we got some jewelry, you guys. So it looks like, so it's a pendant, like a little dolphin pendant. Kind of a cool find. It's got some little pink sparklies with it. So, okay, on to the next. Okay, you guys, so right here where my sand scoop is, um, I had a medium tone and just move this out here it is guess what it is you guys i'm so excited we got a ring All right, so this is our first ring on this beach. 
Um, looks like it's like a big geyser ring that we found. It's got some textures to it. I'm trying to turn it here on the inside and see. Okay, I actually do see some kind of a writing. Let's see if I can uh, magnify it and I'll tell you what it is. You guys, 925, um, it has like some kind of symbol, but then like below the symbol, it says 925. So I'm gonna try to hold that where you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to or not, but I'll do a zoomed in photo for you. So I'm pretty excited. That's a nice big silver ring. Okay guys, so my latest find is this really cool rainbow, I guess it's a fidget spinner is probably what it is. Wait, it's like a spider. Okay guys, so I have a target out there in the wet where you can see my sand scoop sticking up. So I'm gonna go out there and try to get it. Um, you guys have to stay on the shore though since my camera equipment is not waterproof, but we're gonna go see what this target is. Um, it's actually got two tones to it. So kind of like a high and a mid tone so we're gonna see what we've got and of course this is like right where the surf is really coming in so this will be fun to try and get I actually think I have it in my scoop hopefully <laughs> all right so I think the water has pretty much washed the sand out for me We did get it! Yay! Okay! It took a minute to see it in here because there's a bunch of shells left after the sand got washed out. But we got a penny in the surf. Okay guys, so directly out here behind me in the surf, I actually have two targets. I have a high target and a low target. So I'm thinking it could be a coin spill right there, but maybe we'll get lucky and it's an awesome like gold chain or something so I'm gonna go see if I can get these two targets and hopefully you guys will be able to see what's going on from the beach All right, so there is my high tone. We're gonna see if I can manage to get it. <laughs> Surf is uh, really something here though. Okay, I did not get it. Like I actually got it, maybe.
Okay, so I got a penny. And just make sure. Woo! <laughs> Hold on to your detector. Okay, I actually got um, another coin as well, so I might have got both my targets in one scoop. And um, I think, I think my second coin is a quarter. It's really orange and corroded. So I think I was right about that. It was a coin still. Now let's see if there's anything else right here. I have to tell you guys, this water feels so good. Um, it was really hot out today. Um, I'd really just like to go completely for a swim, but I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so we got our target. Okay, my friends. I am headed back out into the surf after another target, um, and this one is kind of a mid-tone, so we'll see what we got. Missed it on the first scoop. I actually have two tones here with this, so I'm um, not sure what it's going to be. Could be more than one target or just something with mixed metals. Okay, I actually think I got it. Maybe. Whew. That surf is tough. I have lots of shells in here. Hmm. I really don't see it. Let me just see if I lost it here in the surf somewhere. Okay, guys, maybe I'm just not seeing it in my scoop because there's so many. Oh, wait, I think I do see it, actually. Here we go. <laughs> it was a zipper pull. I don't know if you guys can see, but these people are like holding food out for these seagulls. So they got a swarm of seagulls diving into their balcony trying to get something to eat. Too funny. Just thought I would share the beautiful sunset with you guys. The view of sunset at Gulf Shores, Alabama. Okay, my friends, as usual, it's getting dark and I'm still detecting. Um, I have a nice high tone here, finally getting to work the towel line and it's actually been a really quiet towel line until just now. So we'll see what this is. Probably gonna be like a bottle cap or something. All right, we got it out. Um, it's getting dark enough though that I'm having a bit of a hard time seeing to get things. So we are actually gonna use the pinpointer to save some time. Okay, so no, it actually was not a bottle cap. We got, from the size of it, I'm guessing a quarter, but it's too dark to really tell. Hello. All right, my 
friends. Well, I'm wrapping up my day of beach detecting here at Gulf Shores. Um, it's an incredibly beautiful beach. I um, had a lot of fun, some interesting targets. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, that's what metal detecting is about, is getting out, having fun in beautiful places. And we definitely did all of that today. So you guys stay tuned for the wrap up and I'll see you soon. All right, my friends, this is the wrap up video for the beach hunt at Gulf Shores. So here we go. I did find a bit of trash, three um, pull tabs, but you guys, this is like way less trash than what I usually find at a beach. So it kind of goes to show how nice and clean they keep Gulf Shores. Um, did get one tent stake and one broken carabiner. And then this right here, I think it's just like a, some kind of a little like metal bead you put in your hair is my best guess on that one. Um, then got the zipper pull from out in the surf and then the cool little spider fidget spinner deal. And then for jewelry, we got the dolphin pendant and I've checked and it is just costume jewelry. The coolest find of course was this ring. It turned out to be a James Avery ring, but um, it retails for about $89. So that was a very neat find. And then of course we did get some coins. Nothing old, I'm afraid, um, but we did get a few quarters. It turned out they were all state's quarters. And then I've got two dimes. One is corroded so badly though that I can't tell what year it is. And then a 1976 nickel. And then a couple of pennies, 87 and 2020. And then four toasty pennies that look like they came out of Davy Jones's locker. So we will definitely not ever figure out probably what those are. Anyway though, um, it was a super fun beach hunt. I hope that you guys had fun going hunting on the beach with me. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you'll do so. I'll include a link for a couple of videos here at the end so that if you want to explore my channel a bit further, you can do that. And also here at the end, I'll have some video footage of just things in the area. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And until next time, happy hunting and the best of luck. Okay, my friends, so for those of you who've never got to visit Gulf Shores, Alabama, I thought I would do a little drive through for you and just kind of let you see what it looks like to drive through the town. And I think I'm going to actually get over to the right here so that we have a better view. There's lots and lots of high-rise hotels and condos and stuff like that here. There's also lots of great restaurants and lots and lots of beach shops. There's a happy dog. <laughs> and the beach access points I'm going to turn here, they are just really nice. The bathrooms are absolutely immaculate. Um, you do have to pay to park. So it's like five bucks for four hours or 10 bucks uh, to stay till 2 a.m. So here comes some of the beach shops. I might have frequented a few of those. Okay, maybe I frequented all of them. <laughs> uh, beach shops are a guilty pleasure for me. I love them.
I guess I should mention, by the way, the beach is over on the right-hand side, if you hadn't already guessed that. And this takes us into Gulf State Park. And then basically you drive through this park and on the other side is um, Orange Beach. Um, so there's no shortage of places to stay, eat, shop, um, and then just miles and miles of perfect white sugary sand beaches. So uh, definitely a great place. I for sure will be back here again. You'll probably see more than one video from this place because I really enjoyed being here. This on the right is um, the lodge that's located within the park. So if you prefer a nice quiet beach stay with no bars or anything nearby, you might like that. Over there on the left is the Ranjan Surf Shop. It's actually one of the smaller ones I've ever been to. I was surprised by the size of it.
Oh, I ate there at Bubba's Seafood. Um, it was pretty good food. I won't say it was the best I had here, but it was good. And the waitress I had was super sweet. There's more surf shops. Okay guys, well, here comes my turn. So we have to say goodbye to the beautiful beach. One last look.